Good afternoon and welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Glenn Edison. We're certainly glad to have you. And as always, you can see our programs on BTC Fibers Channel 18, as well as BTC Fibers YouTube page. And today we have with us David and Katie Burns of Burns Farms. And we're certainly glad to have y'all. Thank you. And the beard. Well, uh, I've been wanting to interview y'all for a while. and uh, We've started our program now in Pikeville and we want to get all the local businesses. We're trying to do uh, positive things that go on and I know y'all do a lot of positive things so yeah. uh, we're anxious to get a hold of you. But first let me ask you uh, how long has the farm been in existence here? The farm started in 1952. Yeah. His father yes. purchased two Herefords yes. at the 4-H sale. This, yeah, as his 4-H project. Yeah. Uh, so my, my father started it as his 4-H project with my grandfather. So I'd be the third generation of Burns' uh, running the farm here in, in Pike. Yeah, and interestingly, he uh, took a loan out on his horse <laughs> to get the money for the Herefords. Uh -huh. well. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he was thinking even back then. He was, yes. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's certainly a funny story. Yeah, right? and that's interesting. Uh -huh. Well, um, with that, I'm sure y'all have had a uh, you went from that one Hereford to to what you have now. So. Right. Yeah. It's quite it, quite a few. It's expanded quite a bit. Uh, now we're up to running probably about 800 mo mother cows, um, both Her Herefords Angus and commercial cows. So we are running multiple different breeds now uh, along with crossbred cows as well yeah and the angus are pretty new uh -huh. um i think i mean predominantly we're herefords yeah. and always have been and always will be but we added the Her the angus in 2015 yeah been about about six years yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and so okay. we yeah. they're now popping up in our sales yep well i see a lot of angus out right a lot yes. of meat you know mm -hmm. around uh -huh. yeah. and more popular Right. Yeah. Yes. Even in the fast food joints. <laughs> oh yeah, you're seeing it everywhere. Right. right, and our our beef side, our fr our freezer beef has really increased uh, yeah. since the pandemic. People wanting to get back to the farm, wanting to purchase from someone that they know, uh -huh. and wanting to have something really fresh and amazing. And so we have put in a huge freezer. I'm sure we'll show well, a shot. That's what I was going to say. Uh, since you. Since you mentioned that uh, yeah. about your beef sales, that's something you've started. We've been doing that for how many years? Uh, pretty much all along at some point, but we yeah. but we've really expanded that business quite a bit over the last probably five years. I guess I'd say yeah. it's expanded quite a bit. Um, you know, uh, with with Katie and and my and, and my sister Sarah kind of yeah. pushed that business quite a bit. They just tell me when they need one, so that, that, that's my end of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, oh, that's pretty neat. And uh, do you have a lot of local customers? Do you have customers outside, from outside? We have. We, we do have a lot around Chattanooga, uh, but we have sold quite a bit here locally between Chatt between uh, Pikeville and Dunlap. Both. Uh, we have sold quite a bit in mm -hmm. this area as well. We have packages. We have half. We have whole. But the packages are really popular. Yes. Because yeah. you don't have to buy an entire half of a cow. You can buy a 20 pound package. Of, fits in your small freezer uh, and the, so that has been something that's been pretty popular. Oh, I bet it has because mm -hmm. that's a, seemed like a lot easier for a lot of folks. Yep. Yes. And, uh, and space-wise too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, um, speaking of here, here your sales, um, how long have you had the sales going on? Uh, we built the sale facility which we're in now uh, in 2009 uh, and that was we had our first bull sale in 2009 uh that's expanded quite a bit over the years uh now we have now we have four sales a year and an internet sale uh, on, an internet only sale uh so we'll, we uh where we sell mostly frozen genetics mostly embryos and semen and some of that stuff oh, in, the yeah. in the frozen mm -hmm. sale uh so we have uh currently we have two female sales which will sell mostly registered cows in uh, in may in May, we'll sell Herefords Angus and actually Black Herefords as well. Um, so we'll sell three different breeds basically in that sale. Uh, and then in September, we have our, well, I missed the sale, the February bull yeah. sale. Uh, we have a bull sale in February, uh, which we partner with with some of our other, uh, some of our close uh, people that have bought stuff from us and we have that sale. 
and then the May sale, which we have a large female, and then in September we have what we call our friend sale. Uh -huh. So we will put some we we put a chunk of cattle in it, and then a lot of people that have bought cattle from us from all around put cattle in it as well. Um, and then we have, and that's a female sale. And then in um, November, November we have our what is our biggest bull sale, where we'll sell 130 or to 40 okay. bulls, and then about another 100 plus commercial females in that as well. Um, that'll be mostly black or black baldy females bred back to either our Hereford or Angus bulls. So that's another place where we try and incorporate our customers into our sales as well, because some of those heifers will be customer heifers as well. And I'm sure you probably have a lot of uh, repeat customers that keep coming back oh, as oh, well yes. as new ones coming in. A lot, out. yes. Yes, we've had people that, you know, were buying private treaty yeah. from Burns Farms before we even built this facility in 2009. And are still buying bulls today. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. That's great. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when you have your sales, uh, do you do you get people, like, I know you have local people, but you get them from outside as yeah, well? Yeah, I think this last sale, I forget to look at the stats, I think we sold into 13 different states, really? um, you know, anywhere from Florida to Virginia to Oklahoma, uh, we're represented in this sale, but we have sold mm -hmm. cattle anywhere from the southern tip of Florida to western Montana. Uh, so we've, we've spread some, some Bledsoe County genetics all <laughs> over the country, basically. Uh, well, how, how did uh, the word get out from from here well I mean we we do a lot of national uh, we do a lot of national events so we we're, we're getting ready some cattle to go to what is the biggest show of the year in Oklahoma City in January they're they're in the show barn getting ready now so that's one way we get out I do travel quite a bit and visit with guys and go to different conferences and and go in different sales around the country and visit and network with guys as well. So we, you know, we've, and we've been doing it a long time. So, so yeah. ti time also helps yeah. that a little bit as well. Yeah. You know, the name, just, gets, out the name gets out there. Uh, and luckily we've been able to build a, build a good rapport with people and people uh, like the product that they're getting and it works for them. Well, and mm. I suppose you also go out there and uh, support other people who, other sales. Well, and that, that's something that we, that we believe in strongly and that's part of the reason we have like that September sale is we we try and support we try and support the people that are supporting us they have an opportunity then to market their cattle back through stuff here uh, along with some of the commercial females for some of our commercial customers in the in the November sale so it's a way for us to give back to our customers where they have an avenue to market cattle back as well yeah. well have you uh um, so you do about four or five sales a year, is that mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, have you, um, do you ever, just, do you limit your sales to just certain breeds or? Well, I mean, we're pretty much limited to Hereford's Angus and then the, a few black Herefords yeah. and, some, and, and a few commercial cattle, but, but mostly it'll be Hereford and Angus. And that's most of what we'll have. Mm -hmm. Is that more uh, popular with the other uh, people that come in? That, that, those are your two most popular breeds in the country. Um, they're obviously what we've done traditionally to the Herefords is where, where we traditionally are at. Um, and they are also two breeds that complement each other well and they crossbreed together well. So oh, okay. it's something that, that as part of the reason we added the Angus program six years ago was because a lot of our bull customers we're, we're coming and buying Hereford bulls, but then somewhere in their rotation, they were using an Angus bull uh, that they were buying somewhere else. So I was like, well, hey, buy that for me, yeah, buy yeah, that yeah. for me as well, yeah, you know, yeah. if I just make some. So, yeah. so that's why we started making some. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that, was the, that was the idea behind it, and it's worked very well. well it uh, seems like very it well. is. Yes. Because I know when I've driven by, when you've had a sale, it's Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. We'll have you know we'll have generally uh, 150 to 250 Two people at a sale and yeah. every time that we have, and they'll come in from all over. Uh, you know, we 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 will bring a lot of people to the valley that have never been here, and, and the valley always impresses them. So yes. it's always 
it's always fun to see their reaction to it because we're used to seeing it every day and the people come in and they realize how pretty our little corner of the world is and oh, and, it, is. And, it, yeah. and and they see it through fresh eyes and it's it's neat to see the appreciation of, of where we live yeah because our pens are right out here and so mm -hmm. when you're walking in the pens you have a perfect view of the mountain as a backdrop and people just get really captivated with the scenery yeah. and you know our catalog ships to about 3,000 people really and so that's there's the where's Pikeville Tennessee they're seeing yeah. that you know and tuning in uh, we even have people from Canada that have Where? been here and you know mm -hmm. still are in contact with us through social media and it's like here's Pikeville Tennessee yeah. and it's neat to be able to talk about where we get to live well I keep hearing about uh, you mentioned Canada I keep hearing about people from Canada coming around mm -hmm. in the area and uh, other people from up north mm -hmm. and uh, it's nice to have them to come visit absolutely yeah. absolutely and we do all of our sales are broadcast on different uh, online platforms so people can bid on our cattle from anywhere in the world uh, okay. and have yeah. Um, so, uh, so we do broadcast online along with so Katie. We can watch it, Facebook it, it, and Instagram. Yeah, but then there are some online bidding platforms. Yes. As well. Yes. Um, so, so guys, don't necessarily have to be here. We like to have everybody here, yeah. but but they don't necessarily have to be they here. Just to buy. come back later and yep. pick it up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's a good alternative. Yes, you know, absolutely. Can't and that's expanded. Drive. That that's <laughs> expanded quite a bit with the co with with the pandemic and the COVID. That you know, guys have gotten more comfortable with the online side of things, so they they don't you know mm -hmm. they, you know. But luckily, our crowds really haven't suffered as much as I've seen a lot of a lot of other sales. Yes. It has, but I think a lot of people like to come to Pikeville and see this area. Yeah. You just like so, to get out. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a great place. Well, what are some of your uh, more fond memories of your over the years? Mm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's a so many of them. Probably riding. You know, uh, we we dated a lot. I mean, as in spending time together when I first moved here, riding around together. Yes. Um, and the truck was really fun, and he was teaching me about the industry because I I was not raised in agriculture, and mm -hmm. so he spent a tremendous amount of time educating me about the industry and teaching me about it and it was really fascinating and that's when I said we really need to show this like in what you do in agriculture to the bigger scale and so that's when I got involved with the social media uh -huh. mm -hmm. but then speaking more fondly so you know we started out doing that and then bringing our daughter along yeah. and how much she loves oh, riding around with him like every you know every Sunday or Saturday going to check cattle yeah. and so seeing her you know get excited because she we started the Angus program for her oh mm -hmm. really and so you know seeing her you know get excited seeing a calf and enjoy it is really special mm -hmm. and how old is your daughter now she's six six mm -hmm. yeah oh that's a good age yeah, yeah. it is uh, and she's even assisted um with getting up cattle you know we've had yes, this. we've had yes. a couple of a wild moments you know <laughs> where, where he's zooming through the field you know with Helen uh, in the side by side, and I was on the horse, and you know it's it's been exciting yeah, a few times. Yeah. <laughs> but she loves it. Yeah, well that's great. I think what's neat also about all all of this is uh, you think about Pike will be in a small rural mm -hmm. town that nobody really hears about because we're not you know on the world map. Right. But uh, a lot of big things happen in the small communities. They you know, can. Yes. Uh, Dunlap, yeah. Pike will. You know, there's a lot of things going on that people just don't know. Absolutely. Yeah, because this is a multi-million dollar mm -hmm. industry that David has created. Yeah, and, 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 and we're competitive on a national level with anyone in the country. Mm -hmm. um, so we are the largest uh, Hereford breeder east of the Mississippi. So, really? So we are a nationally recognized brand. Uh, well, so based right here great. in Pikeville. Uh, he makes promoting really easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, people are always like, oh, I love your social media, but it's really what he is able to do uh -huh. with the cattle and, and how he's able to, you know, create these females and bulls that just go and service all over America. It's, uh -huh. it's so impressive. And so it's easy, it's easy to sell. 
Well, it's a lot easier when you love what you're doing. Absolutely, yeah. and and you know we have we have to love this to do it when we're when we're out <laughs> no. when it when it's 38 degrees and raining and we're in mud to our eyeballs. You know, we there has to be some kind of love there for yeah. it, uh, and and you know it's it's it is a stewardship for the animals, and we're you know we want to take care of take care of it. You know, and and we we do enjoy it. We do enjoy it quite a bit. Well, and like you said, the scenery, because uh, I was driving up the back road mm -hmm. coming up here, and I, I got to look and I thought, well, it's pretty all the pastures <laughs> and everything back there. And yes, it's a yes. pretty view. We, we live in a very pretty part of the world, uh, and I think we underestimate it a lot of the time. Well, uh, uh, have you ever thought of a time when you said, man, this is it, I'm going to hang this up? <laughs> <laughs> well, the the, the pain, in the mud and the rain and it's cold it's like eh, do I really want it? but but no no because it is a passion it really it, you know it is it's passed from my grandfather to my father to me uh, and hopefully we'll pass it on down you know it is it's a passion for the industry and a passion for the cattle business and we we really love it uh, yeah. we love the lifestyle we love what we do we enjoy what it provides for us mm -hmm. what we constantly say is it's a tradition a legacy and a dream mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that really connects with a lot of cattlemen and a lot of people that dream part and wanting that's where you want it that's kind of where that passion comes through because it is it is not easy and his his dad <laughs> loves to say um, if farming were easy everybody would do it yeah. it, it, it is not an easy industry yeah well do you ever uh, have a lot of uh, like federal and state regulations that no, not really no uh, that's that's we don't run into that too much you know we're we we try to do everything as 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 correctly as we can and really that's not an issue we run into um, you know but we anymore we about do most of our own vet work and all that my vet he, he's always mad he's like if you call me it's either I have to do some paperwork or something's really bad <laughs> uh, you know so we don't we don't even really do that much um, you know but we do work with you know the USDA and and some of that stuff on on some different you know programs as well uh, but not a lot of regulation yet yeah uh, yet uh, maybe coming but not yet uh, <laughs> well uh, what about uh, you said you mentioned your social media. You use that quite a bit. Yes. Quite a bit. Our reach is, you know, about 10,000. And, you know, we broadcast our sales live. We're always connected throughout the year, not just for the sales. But it keeps people engaged and it helps them to see, you know, our day-to-day, -day, what we're doing, what's going on. And that's neat to continue the relationship, not just, hey, it's sale time, you know. But this is this is something we care about you and here's what we're doing. Well, the, the social media is entirely Katie's baby. She, <laughs> she was the one that convinced me to do it and that it was important and it really has become a huge aspect of our marketing program yeah. as we've went forward because it does put us out there to people all over the world and it has definitely enhanced the the brand uh, as we go forward. Yeah. Well have you ever had someone to uh, maybe who's seen you on social media contact you and say hey I'd like to come down and see your farm and all, visit. The all, the, all the time <laughs> all the time all the time it's 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 a really big part because you have to engage with people not just hey do you want to buy something but that that what is going on how is your farm here's what we're doing they love that engagement and we love it too to be able to see their farm mm -hmm. as well and what's important with them and I, you know because you know, we're not out west you yeah. know and sometimes people think that cattlemen are out west but they're not yeah. they're really they're lot, really lot sp spread out mm -hmm. and it's a it's a thriving community all over america well if they came around the sequoia valley they'd see plenty of cattle there's a lot <laughs> yeah yes. and that too so when we're showcasing they're seeing pikeville i mean yeah. they're seeing bledsoe county you know through my through my videos through my instagram stories or my facebook you know photos or anything they're seeing it yeah, there's no telling how many hundreds of head of cattle you see between Dunlap and Pike. Yeah. There, no, there's a lot. There yeah. is a lot in this valley. Uh -huh. uh, you know, and it's it is a neat way to showcase the valley and and what everybody's doing down here. Uh, and hopefully, we're at least a chunk of that, uh, and we're we're happy to be a part of that. Yeah. We'll have uh, other uh, 
farmers maybe come to you for maybe help or advice? Or oh, I, absolutely. We work, we work with a lot of local guys. A lot of local guys buy bulls from us. Uh, or by females, uh, you know, we, we definitely have put put some guys in the business and and, uh, and definitely have sold a lot of bulls and try and try and help guys out as much as we can. Uh, and you know, and we we do we do try and work with as many local guys as we can because uh, that's one of the things we try to do is help. Yeah, it's not just about a purchase. Mm -hmm. It's about a re you know having that relationship, relationship. long term. We want you. We want our customers to be successful because mm -hmm. if they're not, then it gives you a bad name if you're, they're not happy. Exactly. Right. And, just yep. some, and like I said, sometimes people have this dream, and they start, but they may not have a background, but right. they have the dream. And so then, you know, he's he's highly skilled at what he does and is able to help them come along. And he's had a number of consulting jobs, even for people starting their herd, you know, in various places and other states yep. and and here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you do help. Uh, we, oh, we do on that end as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that's we we try and we try and help out every way we can. Whether it's consulting with them, whether it's helping them market, whether you know giving them an avenue. That's just what we're what we're trying to do here. Um, because as long as we can keep guys in the business, that's going to keep us in the business. So that's that's what we're looking to do. So that means you have no days off. Period. Oh no 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 no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> If I do, I find something to do. Uh, <laughs> That's you know. yeah. I don't, I don't think there's ever a time where you can say it's it's finished. No, like we're caught up. I don't think that goes with agriculture. That the no. the idea that you're caught up is not possible no that's something that's that we've had that have had to beat in my head over the years is we're not going to be caught up probably ever as much as we as much as we run and as much as we do we're at some point we just have to go home and call it a day and then <laughs> yeah. then, then we'll start again tomorrow and see what we have to do then do you have others here that help you absolutely yes. yeah yeah i mean we've got yes. we've got four full-time employees plus me um you know and and couldn't do it without them, obviously. They're a very dedicated workforce, and we're very fortunate to have them. And we have other people come in when it's crunch, when we ha have more active times, other people will come in and help us as yep. well. And then we have some part-time guys that'll come yeah. in and do some day work and help too, that are just as important as anything, uh, you know, because we do get, it gets pretty hectic around here. And especially this time of year. This time of year is one of the most hectic times of year we have. Zach and the guys are hauling cows in right now to bring them in right. to start AI breeding and, and doing some of that. So we're 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 just and I'm hauling bulls all over the country. So <laughs> yeah. it's uh, it's, and a, then on, it's a really busy time. On here. Sunday we had Iowa State University yep, ag yeah. tours come and tour the really? farm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And we had the, the last week we had a a. Uh, group of Mexican cattlemen that were coming through and and touring different farms we had a group yeah. of them in last week but that's typical uh, I mean we could have about seven tours a year yeah of so we people wanting to come, come and, and understand see what we're doing you know um, so so it, it, we do uh, you know it was it was neat you know to have back-to-back -back have an international delegation and yeah. then a collegiate delegation yeah. right through here and you know different perspectives from those two groups was, yeah. was really neat to see and the collegiate one would have for example found me on social media yeah. or us yeah. should i say mm -hmm. so that's you know it all ties in with that reach and what he's doing mm -hmm. is really really special yeah. so one way or another Burns name is out there somewhere. We're, we're trying, yeah. It's not. It won't be. If they hadn't heard of us, it's not because we didn't try and get yeah. in front of them. Yeah. Uh, well, is there anything that maybe we haven't mentioned you'd like to talk about that uh, you want people to know about? Probably how hard his dad works every weekend on the farm, and uh, his best friend also has um, bought a house here um, and works alongside. Um, you know, my mother-in-law is still very integral in the details, the things that, you know, like she makes this amazing spice rub that mm -hmm. she didn't want us to put her name on it, but she makes an amazing yeah. um, original uh, burn seasoning and she's putting all that together. And then my sister-in-law is working with, you know, freezer beef sales. And so there's a lot it's, going on. It's a very family operation yeah. and we're all involved in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, so we it, it is a 
It is a very family oriented business that we're all we're all directly into it and we all enjoy it. Well that sounds like y'all are having fun. We are, yeah. yes, absolutely. Well, that's great, that's great. Anything else y'all would like to mention? Is this, uh, no. I've certainly learned a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad. We just we're just glad, glad to have here. you, and we we appreciate the opportunity, and we we like uh, we we love our community, and we like to be in front of them, and we want everybody to know that they're welcome at any of our events anytime. We we love to love to have people here, and uh, Bobby Lloyd's gonna cook you a, if we have a if we have a sale, he's gonna cook you a nice lunch, and <laughs> it's gonna taste pretty good too. And, so, a, and we have a yeah. party the night before, and he cooks for that as well, and so it's just. It's just great food and, and people. We're, we're very, very blessed to do what we do yes. and where we do it. And yes. what's your uh, social media site once again so people can... Yeah, Burns Farms on Facebook and on Instagram. And we also have a web page, burnsfarms.com. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Anything else? No, thank okay. you so oh, much. We have I've just enjoyed it. Your questions are amazing. Thank you for helping us showcase you know everything that we're doing here. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. And once again, you can see BTC Fiber YouTube page as well as BTC Fiber's Channel 18 uh, and look for this interview coming up soon. Hey everybody, this is Glenn Edison from Valley Views. We appreciate you watching our shows and we would like for you to like, share, and follow us on Facebook as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.